Hey gang, it's your girl Jess Bree. Um, coming to you with a Read My Mind by the one on, and only intellectual herself, the relationship guru, Sansa Ray Smith. The um, personality who has been on YouTube for years and years and years and still only has 40,000 subscribers and can barely get um 10 people in a live chat but that's neither here nor there this is an oldie but goodie from august 29th 2018 um and again i cannot listen to her oh wait no that's i read that i did that wrong and it doesn't matter what the date is um i can't listen to her uh so the um reading for today is this black woman here is disappoints me. Okay, and she's talking referring to a particular person. I'm not gonna say her name, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna read the content and we're gonna laugh and crack a couple of jokes. And then um I probably have to spit it up in two because you know she's super long winded. She likes to type novels. So and plus I gotta get ready to take my cousin out because we're going um she's getting ready, getting stuff ready for her birthday. Not that you guys care, but it is her 50th. My daughter just turned 24 yesterday, so happy birthday. Shout out to her. She's um, just arrived in Texas um, with some friends to um, party or whatever. So, anyway, here we go. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Oh, 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 oh. All right, don't get me started. Okay, here we go. I have never portrayed myself to be a perfect woman on YouTube. Clearly, I am open and extremely honest about my mistakes. I've spoken about my poor choices in men and why women should not choose them how I did. I also spoke about why I made those choices I have. I have warned both men and women on YouTube for almost a decade to not make bad choice decisions and relationships that could permanently scar them. Messing around with the ghetto hood booger, she's talking about herself, will have you effed up. I have also taught lessons I learned myself. My life is a good movie, girl boy. As an African-American college-educated single mother who is inside of the information technology industry living in Northern California in a beautiful half a million dollar home, I've overused myself and my life as an example to help others. You think, bitch? And you're still doing it. Um, and just for the people that don't know her, she's... um yet to um prove any type of college degree not that she has to but she's been homeless one too many times to clearly be you know um to have any kind of whatever and um not to say people can't fall on hard times obviously but if you if you ever had time or cared to listen to her videos you can tell she's not who she claims to be um, in a beautiful half a million dollar home. We busted her out about that. That wasn't true. Anyway, I don't like talking about others. Let's see. Uh, oh, she said, I've done it fearlessly. Whatever. I don't like talking about others. Yeah, right. That's why you're talking about Kevin Samuels, right? Just ideas. You don't have a lot of ideas swirling around in that big old watermelon head of yours honey and um let's see i have not been concerned about the misjudgments and criticisms of others yes you have you always make reaction videos to the reaction and you always say something where it shows obviously that you watched our content um particularly the viper pig you've been in live chats so cut the bullshit sounds right um there is no I in denial. I show all emotion or lack thereof depending upon the type topic. I take pride in logic and analysis and I speak the truth with no equivocations. Whoa, she's the way you use the words. I love my life. You think I'm the underdog. News flash broad. I'm a champion. A winner never quits on themselves. Without attempting to impair the thought processes of others by using racism prejudicial rhetoric, glitz and glam, religion or facade is my crutch. I have empowered 
whoever is willing to listen. Girl, you ain't empowered a damn thing. Um, what does this even mean without attempting to impair the thought processes of others by using racism, prejudicial re- rhetoric, glitz and glam? You obviously don't have glitz and glam, or yeah, you think you do because you have all them half new pictures you be trying to get people. That's how you try to bring people in, bitch. You don't have no, um, no real niche for this shit besides your naked pictures. Um, anyway, my talking points are basic, very, <laughs> just like you, <laughs> and filled with laughter. No, honey, I ain't seen nothing I laughed at, even before, I was watching you before I even knew of the Viper Pit, or we even formed a Viper Pit, and I didn't really think much of you, I mean, you seemed okay, but honey, your content is was not is not girl never i own a sense of comfortability comfortability i do the best i can with what i know clearly ain't much y'all. but you know i will give you credit i'm not gonna even front i just don't like giving you credit personally because you really take it to the head but your graphic shit is is obviously you know at some point um providing counseling and guidance for those who are in need Girl, to who? I had displayed an immense amount of altruism for my most of my life out of pure love for other human beings. Yeah. Yet some people have been very disrespectful and derogatory when speaking of me just for shock and awe, social acceptance, and inability to produce original thought-provoking content, just plain misdirection of anger, or jealousy. Let's break this down because I have a problem with this. Now, here we go. <clears throat> I'm not caping for Kevin Samuels. He don't need nothing from me. He don't need me to defend him. But I'm just use. I'm gonna use him as an example, just because this bitch is so hypocritical and so full of shit. So she says, yes, some yet some people have been very disrespectful and derogatory when speaking of me, just for shock and awe. Now, bitch. First of all, you have said <clears throat> over and over again, you, you've you made your opinions known about Dusties and Beta Mills, um, so on and so forth. You know, you said um, derogatory things towards women um, as well, yet you uh, complain about other people being disrespectful and jealous of you honey i've never <clears throat> i've never been in your chat where there's been more than i'll give you 20 people you um i mean you got four-year-old videos that still only have that might have a thousand likes on saray ain't nobody checking for you boo <laughs> ain't nobody checking for you and as far as kevin samuels goes you sit up here and you post a you know, and I know he's he's quite metrosexual, whatever. Um, and he, um, I don't know, some of those pictures, they do look a little effeminate. I ain't gonna lie. But at the same time, you sitting up here, and tr- you able to roast another black man that has not said shit about you, bitch. Ain't never acknowledged you, don't know you from Adam. And you be you keep putting out video after video in reference to him and the way he likes to conduct his business and yet and still you have a fit about other people and what they have to say about you but anywho i try my hardest not to misjudge another use a fucking lie bitch especially not another african-american woman i love the paris malaise and crazy crazy i even show support temporarily to whoever until, you know, whatever that means. I guess she got into some altercation or whatever, disagreement. Which is quite known for her to do. Because she is a part of the drama as much as she pretends that she's not. So, the feminists and wannabe politicians, the gamers and geeks, the Tatiana. See, there you go. Why they gotta be Tatiana's, um, Sansa Ray? 
and the pygmies. Is that supposed to be some type of compliment, bitch? But yet, still, you're talking about people disrespecting you and not an intellectual enough, and they're cruel and they're this and they're that towards you. Not that you're naming anybody specific, but when has that ever been a com co uh, compliment? Most of them have turned on me the second they felt a slight breeze. What does that even mean? I've been attacked by people I've been I've spoken so positive about. People I've defended and supported. Only for those who have barely listened to my content on YouTube to viciously assassinate my character. Girl, you don't have no damn character. Those who continue to misinform simply because they haven't thoroughly researched me or my story. Sansere, Derek Jackson didn't research. <laughs> who the hell cares? It's not like you're a lovely tea or... Hell, um, a Tasha K or, you know, somebody else that's got quite a few views or uh, subscribers. Hell, even, um, the Christy and the Jazzies in the other world. Girl, you don't have, girl, boo, you don't have nothing nobody want to research. You got the same fucking content. Over and over, you talk about you don't like to discuss certain topics like politics. That's because, bitch, you can't hold a candle. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You, um, I'm sure you never really had a debate. I mean, um, well, you have, but you debate with people that you feel like are on your level, and that's pretty low. Anywho. Um, and you scared as hell of Kevin um, Samuels. Or they lack the ability to think outside of the narrow margin of their own limited beliefs. <sighs> These people have no respect or appreciation for diversity, overzealous, and pressed to give their opinion about any and everything. Just like you, bitch. So anxious to be heard online because in real life their platform is weak. I've given relationship advice that has helped people improve their lives and overcome hardships of, of epic proportions. Now, we know that's a lie because this broad don't have a license, a certification, nobody that will um, co-sign her education or any type of, um, you know, I don't know what you call it, shit. She's so, um, extra, epic proportions. Who the fuck would listen to you about something that they had going on that's, um, that's really affecting their lives? My honesty has created unions and friendships. Oh, Lord. I've healed hearts and spread love. I provoke thought and encourage healthy communication. Yet somehow the best parts of me are overlooked. Sounds right. You got interviewed by O'Shea Jackson where you looked crazy with that curly, nappy wig on. And you kept grinning and looking to the side. And you could not articulate your thoughts, honey. You were just saying whatever. And it was so basic and so unprofessional. Like, who else would you talk? Who would else listen to you? Who would else interview? Who else would interview you? And then you did the one with, um, I think it's the diaspora guy. With them pearls and your little curly cues on the side. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a video on that one, maybe. Oh, God, excuse me. Tonight, I'm not going to beg for people to understand me. Please don't, because don't nobody care. Or complain about someone's opinion. I'm not going to gossip about what I heard, post my receipts, or bash my baby Danny. As an African-American woman who has spoken about relationships, for such a long time, I have to be honest with my family. What? 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 <laughs> what? She said, as an African-American woman who has spoken about relationships, 
I have to be honest with girl, shut up. My oh, her family, her online community, my supporters. My friends, loved ones and associates. That's all you got on here, girl. This yeah, you right. This is your family, your community. One of the worst um I'm gonna go on for maybe another five minutes. One of the worst pieces of advice I have ever heard a woman give lies in her convincing another woman that one race of man is superior to another. Huh? What does that mean? One of the worst pieces of it, oh, maybe she's talking about this video up above that I'm not going to even get into right now. Um, If you want to date interracially, that's just fine. It's preference. If you want to convince other women to follow behind you and agree with you solely because you need that validation, just knock yourself out. But to imply that an already injured, betrayed, and disrespected woman of color should take solace in a race of men outside of her own when that same race of men has a very own... Very race of men who oppress her in her own race of men. What? This is your deep-rooted personal self-hate. Oh, dear God. I promote self-love, self-worth, self-acceptance and appreciation, and self-expression so that when one does walk out into the world, better choices can be made in general. Sounds right. You, why don't you start making better choices? Actually, the date does matter. I want to see when this article is written. It's not the 2018 one I was saying. Um, especially when choosing a partner. I encourage women to evaluate a man's character, use her intuition, as well as communicating properly. Instead of relying on his skin color, social media presence, or economic status as measuring tape. Who uses social media as a measuring tape? Let me tell y'all something. At my job, I really don't know. Like, I really, I be asking people about people on YouTube. Like, do you know this person? You know that person. Because I watch YouTube a lot. And most of the people I know, they don't know anybody, like, on YouTube. So, I know, like, girl. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, because that, uh, I don't know. Anyway, there are non-black men who are cruel, cruel, promiscuous, abusive, broken, immature. To imply that the African-American male's architecture is flawed and that God's design doesn't include the type of DNA women of color should procreate with is absurd on, absurd on so many levels. I can't begin to. I'm going to read this last paragraph. I encourage women to evaluate men after they evaluate themselves. Make a change from the out inside out produces better results regardless to what race of men you are interacting with. That way, whether you run into the educated lame, the pookie or ray ray, the player or simp, the good or the bad, white or black, you'll be 100% confident in who you are prepared to make better choices. I teach women to love themselves and self-improve instead of staying in the same Staying, staying the same and resulting in coming to bed, winch. <laughs> so all interracial couples are bad winches, including your family members, mothers or fathers that are white. Girl. And that's, is that supposed to be a compliment? She says you are giving out terrible advice and choosing bad men. She talks about your relationship with Priest and how bad it was. Child. I'm gonna stop here, um, and I'll come back with part two of this. Hell, shit, our black men don't want your ass anyway. You better off with a white man or Mr. Puerto Rico. How about that? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna check that date on that. Anyway, signing off. Um, it's your girl, Jess Bree, and I'll be back later on tonight, maybe, hopefully. All right, peace out.